happy morning friends good morning how are you all so let's start today's top news first let us start with the global state uh, position the dow jones was are up around 48 points however nasdaq was down by almost 270 points the main reason was then uh, most of the tech stocks were falling down there because of the recession fear and currently now the way they are uh, fed rates are going up so that's why you no know, people are selling the risky assets first and you all know that you no know, most of the it stocks in nasdaq are having a high beta stocks are called as an high beta stock so whenever that tide is on a downward trend you no know, you always sell high beta stock and that is what happening and that is that effect of nasdaq is happening in currently in indian it stocks also both are correlated i am not saying that all the it stocks are overvalued but the thing is you no know, always p rating which which was given to the it stocks it may come down if the nasdaq is falling because cheap money will always follow the higher pe stocks so that's why that's why the all the higher pe stocks you no know, which are uh, become much more uh, costlier because of the liquidity they are coming down so all the internet stocks and it related stocks are coming down across the world and india is no exception to that now whether from here they may fall more that time will tell but yeah margin pressures are there and global recession fear is there and because of this they may fall more see understand when there is a global recession fear like in us in europe china no all these it companies are when their main uh, customer consumer are these global companies no retail companies in us europe and everywhere banking uh, sector and all that so that is i know if they they goes down no this negotiation goes up or uh, started coming up and you no know, they may have to uh, reduce their cost and everything so at the end of the day uh what will happen they renegotiate with the it vendors and they are going to bring that the deal price so that is what uh the reason is simple it stocks may fall because if the nasdaq falling but the day nasdaq will make a bottom i think there will be a rebound of the it stocks so let's see when it is happen but currently it is going down now xhx nifty is just uh, giving a mile uptick of 20 points but from last few days you are saying even though the executive is going up it is coming down in the second half the reason is simple still there is a lot of fear in i actually fi is selling a lot every day now if i talk about yesterday fi sold around 2393 crores uh, of uh, shares and uh, di bought against that 1949 now because of di support market is trended otherwise no market would have fallen a lot so that is what as the usd inr usd is getting strengthening even the us dollar index is going up the money is going to flow from india to the developed countries so let me to see currently india market cap to gdp is around 107 now 107 of course it is on a higher side normally it remains around 100 or odd uh, level but now 107 so not too expensive but yeah it was expensive earlier because it was around 113 and 14 more when the index was on a higher side currently the valuation has come down for the market sector and but fii saying that of course you no know, that uh, if the, there is a global crisis going on there is a likely less uh, chance that the money will flow in india in a big manner and the another thing is you no know, china uh which is almost is in a recession now their index has fallen a lot now because of that the money from last 4 5 months the money is going back to china again so it may come out from india where they are having a so when fii is having a profitable trades in india correct so they are going out from fii and they are going to china so that money flow may happen provided no uh, china do shows a sign of getting up now because of the current covid crisis in china is still uh, dealing with that uh, lockdowns and everything so there is a less demand and uh, uh, for economic activities also and that is what leading the oil to around 110 111 dollar currently it is around 110 but the deduction is they may thinking that china may reduce their demand outlook and china which is one of the largest importer of oil if they started showing that yes demand is weak then of course oil will fall
Correct. So let's see. Uh, regarding uh, India outlook, as I told that no, it is on um, uh, over, not overvalued, not over, not all undervalued. It is at a level where it can go anywhere. Now another thing is USD INR is seventy seven point five two. Of course. US dollar is almost uh, standing a lot in last few months because of this recession fear. Now government RBI and RBI is trying all the things to tame inflation. Inflation is the biggest concern currently as globally it is in US, Europe, everywhere. So in India also it is more than seven and a half percent. You know the slew of uh, basically steps taken by the RBI and the government like uh, uh, the steel export. Uh, duty then even they are cutting the excise duty again RBI is increasing the repo rate and all that so they are trying their best to control this inflation this inflation is very much important to control if it is not controlled India will also be in a problem see we are not saying that India may go into recession part but yes provided if the things does not get settled correct and if things goes worse from here and inflation goes out of the controls then they have to take severe measure which will at least halt the economic activity and if the economic activity gets halted of course we may go into recession though that is the thing uh, this thing need to be seen that how how early and how fast the RBI and the governments are taking steps to tame inflation I'm talking about domestic stocks now. Grassim has recorded a net profit of 2,771 crores of 62%. Of course, it has shown a great good result. They have done a uh, announced a capex of 10,000 crore rupees, and uh, they are also going to the paint industry in this level uh, uh, sector. So let's see how they will do. Minda net profit is up by 144 crores. Uh, no, sorry, uh, by 3% to 144 crores, it uh, approves the bo bonus of around 1 to 1. Uh, Minda, as you know, is an auto ancillary and now currently because of high fuel prices, the automobile sector has been affected. But however, all these Minda and auto, some of the auto ancillary are little bit no, on a safer side compared to pure automobile companies. Talking about future retail, future retail told that uh, to SEBI that they are not going to publish result this time. The reason is simple, then most of their uh, key managements are leaving the company and it's a clear part that they are going for a bankruptcy. Now, this is what happens now, whenever the sheep is sinking, you know, people will flee away. That is what happened in the future retail. So, they may not uh, have a they, they not be in a position to publish easel anyways we know that how much loss they are bearing so let's see uh, when they are going to go to the insolvency and uh, let's see when their banks are going to get back their money talking about uh, 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 pharmaceutical sector most of the pharmaceutical sector has shown a not so good results, but however, DV's left showed a good result day before yesterday. Then also it is falling a lot. And this is what happens you know, normally. Even a small concern, if it is there, you now the uh, market always punish them. And similarly happened to the LIC also, LIC new IPO. Even though the IPO valuation is good, everything is good. The problem is the market condition is not good. And when the market condition is not good, no. Whatever stock is, it is going to flow fall. Now the problem what all these IPO is that no, we have to be very much careful that suppose you are investing in IPO with an sole intention to have a listing and better to take a listing and get out of it. The reason is simple. If the stock does not perform the IPO listed within three or four months, it does not go up. Then what will happen? The uh, all all the anchors money, you know, whose money was who's uh, there is a locking period correct once the locking period go they can also sell in the market so then after three four months of that flow will come of selling pressure will come and that will not take the stock up correct so hope you are getting my point so if you are going for a long term and you understand then it's okay then wait for the long term till its stock goes up but thing is long term means three four years at least but if you are going for a short term, maybe one or two months, better to see if the if the listing gain is not happening, it's not going up within a few days, within a week, then better to get out of that stock because then after a few months, no, 
pressure will come from the anchors and no HNIs and all that dude. Whoever's uh, basically beat were blocked by the SEBI that they cannot sell at least for the few months. So that is what I wanted going to be careful and at, at this juncture when the market is so tough, no, you have to be double sure before investing in any IPO. Because you don't want to get set in the wrong foot, correct? Even the LIC IPO was considered so good. But because the market condition is so bad, that does not give any uh, good result to the retail investor. And the problem is one of the problem which I feel over the years, I have seen that so many big IPO came now, like PTM, Colin and everything. Yeah, the issue size is so big and there is so much of liquidity and shares in the market. No. So, uh, there is always a pressure on these stocks and again, PSC stocks, whichever has come with the IPO, unless you can say about ICTC, as all the shares has not performed well. Last share which has given a return during the listing was Coal India and that was back 3-4 years back. They have given almost 30% uh, odd return to everyone. So that is keep keep all these things in mind while uh, investing in IPO. Now let us let us talk about more about metal sector. Metal sector as you know that uh, it's a cyclical business and you have to be very much careful when you are investing in the metal sector. The reason is simple when the tide goes against no it, it will take out your clothes and this is what happening currently also. Now government has actually leave it uh, tax correct export tax only now suddenly the whole scenario is changed now everyone is now uh, all the analysts and no brokerage houses literally uh, downgrading all the metal stocks and everything the reason is simple the profitability goes down and this is the period only when they can earn because you can understand this is cyclical in nature. Once the metal prices goes down, then margin is anyways going to affect. And, when, and what government will do when the prices goes down, then only they will remove the export uh, uh, condition. And the reason why they kept that uh, export tax was simple to tame inflation. Because one of the main reason why the inflation was going up was because metal stocks prices were going up and up. So in order to tame that inflation, no, they have put on that export. So this is what happens, no, metal industry, uh, all that, no, even so-called banking, no, you have to be very much careful. The scenario can, can change anytime. These are not like FMCG companies where demand will be there every time. Similarly, oil companies are like that. No, even though you, you are aware of ONGC like companies, no, PSU. I think last 2018 top which they made around 243 but still ONGC is not able to cross that even though oil prices up by almost uh, it reached at 130 at one point correct even such a high oil prices why they are not able to go come, go over their earlier highs the reason is simple that it's a government control correct though and again subsidy and everything so many things are there now which is government controlled by the government so whenever there is a government control no you have to be double sure whether uh, this company is in a proper sector or not if the sector is completely governed by the uh, government uh, better not to go into it because that will not give you a compounding return compared to other companies like real, oil company like Reliance and all that no because they have like other section also like retail, uh, telephone, uh, sorry, uh, geo that is telecom. So that is what now you have to be very much careful which company you are investing and how, what set it is, what are the strength and weakness of the companies. I call Michael Porter's five forces analysis you can apply on this and to understand whether this sector uh, fulfill your criteria or not. If the sector properly fulfill your criteria and it shows you the yes, there is a strength in the sector, then what you can do, you can go down and apply that uh, uh, Michael Porter's five force analysis in the uh, stock also and see we, which are the stocks which are good and again within and compare it with each other, compare with the competitors and whichever is the best pick it up. I uh, will make a special video for this uh, strength and weaknesses of any sector that is moat analysis that is Michael Porter's high forces analysis in coming few days but keep this in mind and of course if you want to know more about 
which uh, point you want to understand or which funders you want to understand about market do write it down in the below comment section and i will assure you that i will make a video on that to make you understand and of course if you like this video do click a like button subscribe to my channel but at the point what i wanted to tell you is simple that before going for any stock keep all these thing in mind because the reason is simple once you have bought a stock it is like marrying okay you cannot easily get out because if it goes down then you will always wait, let it come up and then only I grow. But no, buy a stocks only when you are doing a proper analysis. I will tell you about more and more for the next few uh, days. But this is what if you want to know any more other funda, just let me know. I will explain it. And uh, do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you tomorrow.